hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial we are going to see how we can tear a cloth in maya so for a cloth i'm going to take a simple plane and increase these subdivisions so for this i'm going to take 50 and 50 and i'm going to go in the front view and rotate it like this Also turn on two-sided lighting in your viewport. I'm quickly going to assign a material with some texture. So I'm going to go in the Arnold and select this Arnold surface. Then go to my material attribute. And uh, let's import our textures. So I'm going to use this cloth texture here. and uh, let's import our roughness map change the color space to raw and in the color balance uh, select this alpha is luminance and at last let's import our bump map or our normal map change it to tangent space normal and in the bump value import your uh, normal map Repeat the same thing with the color space and this alpha here. Go back and uh, we are going to go in the UV editing. And uh, select this plane. Create automatic mapping and then scale it. A little. Like this. Maybe a little more. Something like this. So first we are going to change this shelf from modeling to FX. Now select our plane and go to end cloth and select this create end cloth. Now if we play it then it's going to just fold down. So we don't want that. We are going to go in the vertex mode and uh, we can select either the four vertex on all the corners or we can just select the entire row so i'm just going to select these four so these four vertex are going to hold this cloth and stop it from falling down so we are going to go in the end constraint and select this transform constraint and if you play it now, then it's not going to fold down like it was before. So let's go back. And uh, now we are going to create a terrible surface. So I'm going to go in the right view and uh, select this uh, paint button. And uh, let's change it to vertex mode and now let's select this and i'm going to select these vertices and some here like this maybe a little more like this And now I'm going to go in the end constraint and click on this terrible surface like this. Now let's create an object so that we can collide that with this cloth. So I'm going to take a sphere. You can take any shape you want. And I'm going to place it here. And let's uh, set a key here to add some animation. So I'm going to press S to add a key and then go to the 30th frame and place this sphere here and press S again to set the key. So if you play it, then it's going to move like this. 
now it's not interacting with our cloth so what we can do is we can select this and go to end cloth and select this create passive collider now let's play and now as you can see that's interacting with our surface so we need to tweak some settings so what we can do is we can go to this uh, dynamic constant and uh, in the attribute editor we are going to turn down this uh, glue strength let's keep it 0 0.05 and also the scale let's change it to 0 0.5 something like this and uh, we are going to go to this nucleus and uh, decrease the gravity let's keep it one and now let's try to play it and see what happens so now it looks like this and you can also make it big so this works fine and that's how you can tear clothes in maya using in clothes simulation so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll be dropping the link for this texture in the description so go check that out and uh, and i'm also starting a uh, introduction to 3d modeling in maya course for members only so if you want to get access to that you can consider joining the channel and taking the membership and if you have any critique about this video or any other video then do let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching